There's some breaking news out of the United States this morning with Joe Biden's son Hunter found guilty of gun charges overnight. He's the first child of a sitting president to be convicted of a crime. Let's go straight to North America correspondent Barbara Miller, who is outside the court in Wilmington, Delaware. Barbara, good morning. Tell us how did this play out today? Good morning. Well, the jury came back after just about three hours of deliberations, one hour last night, local time, another couple of hours this morning. Uh, I was in the courtroom just after the verdicts were read out and saw the Biden family trail out of court. And my sense was that they were really quite stunned. Uh, some friends, supporters and family of Hunter Biden uh, looking close to tears there by that verdict. They, of course, had hoped that the jury would be swayed by the defense's argument that there was no proof, they said, that Hunter Biden was using drugs at the time in October 2018 when he purchases, purchased a gun and crossed on a form, a mandatory form, that he was not an addict. The prosecution uh, clearly swaying the jury there with their arguments that Hunter Biden was an addict. He'd written a book about being an addict and he knew it when he bought that gun. Now, Jill Biden, the first lady, has been an almost constant presence in court. She's actually shuttled back and forth twice to France to the D-Day uh, commemorations, coming back here to be in court. She didn't quite make it to hear the verdict being read out in court, but she arrived here at this court shortly afterwards. And as Hunter Biden left, uh, soon after that verdict, he uh, held his stepmother's hand, his wife, uh, on the other side. He didn't make spoken comments. He released a statement thanking friends and family for their support, saying he was more grateful for that support than disappointed in the outcome. Then we heard later from the special prosecutor, David Wise, overseeing this case. He said it wasn't about convicting someone because they were an addict. It was about the choices they had made. And I think uh, we'll hear now perhaps a hint from the prosecutor there, the special counsel, uh, that perhaps when it comes to sentencing, the prosecution won't go for the most extreme uh, possibility, which would be a year's long sentence in jail. It was these choices and the combination of guns and drugs that made his conduct dangerous. Second, no one in this country is above the law. Everyone must be accountable for their actions, even this defendant. However, Hunter Biden should be no more accountable than any other citizen convicted of this same conduct. The prosecution has been and will continue to be committed to this principle. And Barbara, of course, the US election is not too far away. What's been the reaction so far? Well, we heard in a prepared statement, I think, from Joe Biden, who again said he was both the president and a dad. He expressed love and support for his son and said that he would uh, respect the judicial uh, process and the outcome here. Uh, it's a difficult one for Joe Biden. Does he focus on his uh, likely opponent's criminal record, Donald Trump's conviction there in New York, now that his son is also a convicted felon. For the Republicans, I think it's also difficult. This was a gun rights case. And of course, the Republicans, the party uh, which advocates for greater gun rights. Uh, what we've seen from the Donald Trump campaign is a statement saying that this case here was just a distraction and that uh, Hunter Biden should be held to account for greater crimes. Of course, uh, the Republicans, the MAGA Republicans, have been pursuing for a long time attempts to impeach Joe Biden, saying without evidence uh, that he improperly profited from his son's overseas business dealings. So I think they're going to try and shift, uh, try and breathe some more life, perhaps, into those impeachment <coughs> attempts. Uh, as for Joe Biden, we see what a difficult personal thing this is as well for him. He's changed his schedule today, James. He's coming back here to Delaware, we assume, to spend time with Hunter Biden. Mm -hmm.